All right, we are here, Battlefield 7, with Daniel Swain. I've been telling people before the show started tonight that you are the guy to look out for, and he certainly did, didn't disappoint. Tell us how the match went. Uh, went in there, game plan was uh, get a big takedown, get the, get the crowd going. Uh, did exactly that, and then uh, he escaped, so I got up, started throwing my hands a little bit, the takedown helped me throw him. I was able to throw an overhand right, rock him, get the takedown again and then pound him out until I could pull the armbar at the end of the first round. It was an impressive armbar and improved your record to 2-0. and What's next for you here in Battlefield? Uh, Battlefield, I hope we fight on the May 28th card back here in Nanaimo. Um, I don't know anything about it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll be on back. Back, so that'll be my next Battlefield fight. Is there anybody that you prefer to fight? Calling anybody out? Uh, well, I watched Gary Mann get, uh, he won the amateur 145 title. He looked good. Um, he's making his pro debut. I'd like to do a catch weight at 140 or 145. And he looks like a tough guy. I'd like to fight him. It's been a busy couple weeks for you. I heard that you went to the Nationals and won. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, two weeks ago, uh, I went down to Macon, Georgia and wrestled for Douglas College in the NCAA National Tournament. I actually finished the tournament winning it, pinned four of my opponents, had one match go the full time and I won 6-3. I hear you didn't just win, I heard you actually dominated. Uh, that's that's what everyone's saying. I, I just went out there and wrestled, did what I knew how to do, and uh, it ended up going in my favor every time. So. We uh, certainly enjoyed watching you fight. We can't wait to see you back in the battlefield cage. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot.